this is our makerspace. Uh, it's a K8 space. We do all kinds of different projects in here. We do standalone maker activities. We do um, fully integrated projects. Uh, one of our big sort of guiding philosophies in our makerspace that's a little bit different than other makerspaces is that idea of inclusivity and um, integration. So that looks like second graders doing social studies, even if it's just using our gigantic floor space to make a, a giant model of a dinosaur. Uh, but it's also things like uh, seven, eight uh, middle school students um, doing trimester long STEAM projects. There are like two major approaches we take uh, at the Makerspace. Uh, one is the idea that like project-based learning can solidify learning that happened elsewhere. So you can take abstract ideas learned in a textbook or from a lecture and turn them into action. Or the act of making creates learning itself. So uh, a good example of the first one is the dinosaur, right? So they're learning about dinosaurs and they turn uh, and they decide to turn their learning into a ginormous two-dimensional dinosaur that's actually thir two scale, 30 feet long. Um, but uh, the other one would be the um, Makerspace Ninja Warrior project, which is a hybrid. They took a bunch of their learning thought about how it might apply to an obstacle course, and then were very wrong. You know, had like lots of things they needed to learn and de be frustrated with and kind of get feedback on as they learned more and more about the physics they were trying to interact with by making the obstacle course. So we have these kind of two inroads that allow us to reach every subject, because every subject can fit one of these models here in the space. Yeah, and I think you kind of hit on something that's also critical, which is um, our size. So, if, you know, I'm sure you'll see in this video, um, how big our makerspace is, but also how open we keep it. Um, and that's on purpose. Um, all of our sort of furniture and um, uh, tool storage areas are modular and on wheels, and we make most of them here, so they're totally customized for our needs. Um, but by keeping things open, uh, we have this gigantic sort of creative space where, like Josh said, once you uh, bring something into a larger scale, a bunch of new problems come up. And in, in that activity itself, a lot of the learning um, can happen. And we're sort of really committed to keeping this a big open space where student ideas can go from a small sort of, you know, maybe in, in the classroom classic uh, type situation to completely a huge sort of mind-blowing example of, of what they're working on. The, the makerspace in its sort of essence and core, and core is a collaborative space. Um, and something that we really value at Synapse is um, teamwork. And, um, you know, like we've talked about probably at length, is project-based learning and um, trying to sort of break down the silos of school and show students that the work that they're actually doing is real work. Um, it's not work that they're doing to prepare for the real world. Yes, they are doing that also but we like to treat it as their world is real right now, um, and with that comes a lot of challenges. And it's just a really great environment um, that's structured and scaffolded enough to where students feel safe to practice these SEL skills that they're, they're learning in self science and other classes. You know, the makerspace teachers and other teachers who work in the makerspace are constantly thinking about opportunities for conversations about conflict resolution, sharing workload. Optimism is huge in here. It is daunting to think I have to build this 10 foot tall structure. I've never built anything before. And we encourage failure um, as much as possible because that is where a lot of the sort of rich SEL um, can come out. Uh, we committed early on that for your student, all types of students, this is a highly effective, engaging, and fun place to learn. That's something that we're really working hard at doing is making uh, your students feel like they own this place. And not just because they like tools, but because they can do all kinds of really interesting, creative, high impact types of things.